we are going to prove to A that if the limit of f of x is L and the limit of g of x is n as x goes to 0 and m is not 0, then the limit as x goes to A of f of x over g of x is simply their division of the two limits, L over n. Mm. Let us prove this. Now, we're going to, in this proof, we're going to use the proof that the limit of a product is the product of the limits. So now, the limit as x goes to a of f of x over g of x is equal to the limit as x goes to a of g of x times g of x to the negative 1. But that's the limit of our product. So this is the limit as x goes to a of f of x times the limit as x goes to a of g of x to the negative 1. Now we prove that this is true. We prove in a previous video that the limit of our product is a product of the limits. Let me prove one more thing. So the limit is x goes to a of f of x times. Now, if you have a function to a power, especially an integer power, we prove that, well, actually the positive integer. We know that you can take the limit as x goes to a of g of x and then raise that result to, in this case, the power negative 1. Well, this first limit is l times this limit is m to the negative 1, which is l over m. And this theorem has been proved. Please continue watching and see you in the next video.